Bullseye is brought to you by Mighty Taco. Ohio 32-19, and they go back into first place to share with it with Akron in the MAC East Division. Turner Gill joins us right now, and Coach, let's get right into this game because this was a lot of opportunities for Buffalo, and it got started right off the bat. Ohio had a first and goal situation, force a fumble, no points on the board for Ohio. Well, it was a great opportunity for our defense. They've done it two or three times in the season where they created a turnover when they're inside in the uh, five-yard line. So it was a great play by our defensive line and great job of recovering the ball by Mike Thompson. I believe it was Justin Winters that got the, created the uh, fumble and uh, great job by him of getting that done. And again, that's, that shows our guys that there's no quit in them. Yeah, and Andre Smith was also in on that play, and that was important because Ohio had great field position on that particular play. Then on the ensuing drive, Brandon Thermalis came up with a big run, and this was something that you had talked about throughout the week was that the running game needed to step up and Brandon did it right off the bat here in the first quarter. Well, uh, I got to go right to our offensive line and our tight end there. We pulled our offensive tackle, Andrew West. We came him to isolation on the linebacker to the weak side. And again, Brandon Thurman saw the crease and he hit it with great speed and made a great run on it. But a great job by our right tackle pulling and also by Ray uh, Norrell, our left tackle, blocking the guy out and a uh, great run and hitting the, hitting the hole fast. This was Brandon Thermalis' longest run of the season, and then he finished off this play with a three-yard touchdown run, and this is another one where a big hole opened up thanks to the offensive line. First and goal for the Bulls from the Ohio three-yard line. Thermalis and Sharon in the backfield with three tight ends. Bray goes in motion left to right. Willie hands to Thermalis. Brandon carrying the pile, carrying them into the end zone. Buffalo, touchdown. Well, again, uh, we kind of uh, running an outside type play here, and we uh, ended up wanting to have our, our tight end blocked down. Then we had our, our pullback block out and our guard pulling. And really, just Brandon Thurman makes a great run. We kind of have a drill where we have a harness on our backs, and that kind of exemplifies this type of play where a guy got to continue to drive his leg, even though when somebody's uh, pushing you back and holding you, you keep driving your leg until you get in the end zone. That's what Brandon Thurman has did. Yeah, and this is a nice contrast against James Starks. Double tight end. Starks in the backfield. In motion goes Lawrence. Roll the fullback. Give it to Starks. Running wide to the right. Bullseye. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Well, they're two different type runners, but they get the job done. That's all that matters. Well, then you got it done through the air. The next drive, Drew Willie to Naaman Roosevelt. Starks and Sharon lined up next to each other. Willie under center. Drew wants to throw. Fade into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. touchdown. Well, we uh, just wanted to mix it up a little bit here. We felt like Naaman can beat their guy one-on-one -on, -one on a slant pattern. The previous two ball games, we'd thrown fade routes, and we also have thrown what we call a fade stop. So we knew they would play the outside technique of him in that situation, and so we decided, hey, we can beat him inside, make a great throw, and he got it in the end zone. Well, we've talked a lot about Dominic Cook throughout the season and how great he has been with opportunities to get to the ball. He did it once again with an interception right before halftime. Jackson in the pocket, he throws, it's intercepted, picked. picked off by the Bulls. Here comes the other way at the 45, at the 50, Dominic Cook at the 40-yard line. Well, this was probably a, a huge play in the ball game where they could have maybe had an opportunity to get uh, some points on the board, a field goal or a touchdown. He ended up running with the number one receiver, and this guy was a crossing route, and he came off the one receiver, and then he, uh, you know, the quarterback didn't see him. He stepped up and made the catch, he made a great return, and it gave us an opportunity to put three points on the board right before halftime. So it, it carried our game into great momentum, so it was a great play by our defense. Again, another example of our guys not giving up, playing hard, play each play uh, to the best of their abilities. 
Well, Coach, we're going to take a look at the second half highlights coming up right after this. Extra point attempt is blocked. Oh, fantastic. It's blocked. It's picked up by the Bulls. They can return this for two points. Andre Smith's at the 50, at the 40, 30, 20, 10. Andre Smith has put two points on the board. 